I support the bill. Thank you very much, Member for Kwanzaa. The Honorable Catherine Omanyo. Thank you, Madam Speaker. From the onset, I have always supported this motion. Because if you look at the village elders' uh, situation, they don't fit in the government's spreadsheet. And yet the government depends on them through the chiefs and assistant chiefs to get the real, real uh, situation in the villages. One village elder takes care of uh, about 200 homes, understands who the owner of each home is, knows how many teenagers are there, how many children in that home are there, how many are not going to school, and makes sure that every home, every child goes to school, and yet because he has no salary, no wage to come back to at the end of the month, it is so bad that their own children stay home. These village elders have the inside scoop from the grassroots. This government talks about grassroots, the hustlers. These are the people they should hold first to make sure that they are at least living in dignity, like humans, because they risk and dare so much. If the village elder points out a real thief, a drug dealer, people who are raping women in the villages, and that drug dealer goes to jail and maybe gets his way out. You can imagine how these village elders show their metal in continuing to survive but support the community. To dare even put their families in danger but still get the right information to the assistant chiefs or to the chiefs so that the villages can stay in harmony. Their inability to act also makes their hands actually helpless because you could be, they hold important information, but they cannot do anything. They just, their work is just to pass it, to pass it all the time to other arms of government. So we, we, we really want to continue supporting this bill so that the village elders can be legitimate. You know, when you have some something coming every month, you are motivated. And what I understand how they, 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 they are uh, appointed, it's the length of time they have stayed in the villages. So it doesn't matter if they don't, don't have papers or they have papers. So I hope that when that time comes, nobody will start introducing papers because the very uh, good ones, they are wise, but they didn't go maybe to school or if they did, they have limited education levels. So I support fully, and uh, I want to urge the government, since independence, these kind of people have never been looked into. It is time to affirm, to make sure that they get something at the end of the day, some protection as well, because the job that they do is not so attractive either. But it is the job that we need to make sure that our country from corner to corner lives in peace and harmony. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Phyllis Barto, member for Moiben. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. I 